something I want to address with the locomotive. Once you put this locomotive on the track without, without the body shell, the locomotive is pretty quiet. It's a nice, smooth sounding locomotive. But when you put the body shell on it, the locomotive sounds like a coffee grinder. The reason I, I think I've pinpointed that reason, I think I've pinpointed that reason down to this wire right here. This little wire right here, you can see that this wire sticks out from the frame just slightly, just enough to transfer vibrations from the locomotive to the locomotive's body, making it sound, you know, really loud. And I, I see, you can see here how, how there's a bit of a, I don't know if you can see it here or not with the camera, but there's a bit of a rub mark on the wire where the body shells come on and off. It is heavy, but I do think it can be just a bit more heavier because this is the lightest locomotive that I have. And I feel that this locomotive now, ATSF modeler, I'm going to check mine out. First thing, I'm going to kill the DCC sounds. that sound. Oh no, there was a CN. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Number six is the CN with the sound that ATSF modeler demonstrated in his video. There it is again. to <clears throat> see the CSX. Same sound. Okay. Let's check this baby out. Same thing. Now I have these two assigned to address number eight. And even with this body shape, <clears throat> we still get that uh, grinding noise. Let's see, I'm gonna check number seven over here. So I feel that, yeah, all of them does that. I thought I had one that did not. All right. So maybe, Put some sort of uh, rubber or foam. Just it's them down aside the fuel tank so they don't get lost. Now I'll remove the other stuff. Do you guys have any ideas on how you can relocate yeah, that, that wire or and not relocate the wire and find some other way to reduce the sound? That'd be great. But other than that, this is a quiet locomotive once you get that prop solved. Now I'll put the body shell back on. So you just take the